Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. I've had the honor of being the president of the North American Menopause Society through 2017. I'm on the board of directors, and now I'm joined with a fellow board of director, Dr. Gloria Richard Davis. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. I am the director for Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility Center at University of Arkansas Medical Science in Little Rock, Arkansas. In addition to that, I'm also the medical director for our physician assistant programs. So there's a new product on the market mm -hmm. that consumers are asking about. Um, the name of it is Prasterone, DHEA, mm -hmm. and they want to know what is it, what's it for, and what's it about. So let's first talk, what's it for? Okay. So the indication for prosterone is for women who are experiencing pain, moderate to severe pain, with sexual intercourse due to menopausal changes. Okay, how is this different than what else is out there for vulvovaginal atrophy or painful sexual intercourse, dryness of the vagina, all those complaints that are so bothersome for women? So, so the first thing that a uh, patient should know is it is FDA approved. So people hear DHEA, and DHEA is not new. Mm -hmm. It's been around. Get, you know, in, a, it's get in a health food store. How is this different? Absolutely. Uh, but this has been through clinical trials. Mm -hmm. So we know about the uh, safety, and we know about the efficacy. So they can feel very confident in using this product. It's a non-estrogen-based product. So for patients who have concern about estrogen use, then this provides an option for those patients. So this is a vaginal insert, and it's used nightly. Yes. So a common question that women would ask is, well, how does that impact in terms of sexual activity? Do I have to wait two hours? Should I not be using it when I'm sexually active? What does it mean? There is no uh, reason to uh, not engage in sexual activity. You do use it nightly, uh, but the insert itself should not preclude sexual activity. So how does the product work? You told us it's not an estrogen, so, and we know that often the dryness is caused by the loss of estrogen, so how will DHEA make things better? So it is a steroid-based product um, which gets converted to estrogen and testosterone in the body. Mm -hmm. And we are not completely sure of its actual mechanism of action, but we believe that it's because it gets converted to estrogen estradiol, which is the active product of estrogen, in the body, and then testosterone. So women then hear that and wonder, do I have to worry about levels in my bloodstream? Is this, as we say, local medication works locally, right. or is it traveling somewhere? Yeah. Uh, they can feel very confident in the fact that it is local. Um, in the clinical trials, there were serum levels that were measured after seven consecutive days of use. And the serum level of estradiol and testosterone were very low. So In just fact. a word to women who are watching us. Mm -hmm. You know, we know that all women will have changes in the vagina, thinness. We use the word atrophy, and we don't love that word atrophy. Right. And we know that a lot of women have distress. But we know that only 7% of women end up on treatment, regardless of whether it's this newer product or whatever. Mm -hmm. What can you tell women about empowering them about this topic? Well, you know, first of all, it is uh, a quality of life issue for women, for their partners. And so some of the um, challenges that have perhaps um, prohibited women from seeking treatment is some aversion to estrogen, mm -hmm. to estrogen products. And so this is an option that gives them um, a non-estrogen-based option for treatment. And so what I would say to them is please do not suffer in silence. Open the door to the conversation. Come on and exactly and initiate a conversation with your provider because it's too important a part of our being to not address it. Couldn't end on a more appropriate note. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me.